Hey, it's Kristen, and I'm here with a tutorial to answer a question that we get quite often in our group, and that is how to decorate inside your text or letters to um, kind of have this really trendy look that you see in a lot of designs. So I'm going to start by opening a canvas and Procreate, and I'm just gonna do screen size for the tutorial. And um, you can draw your own letters or you can use a font. I will leave the link to the font that I'm using. Um, it's one that I did create. So to add a font in Procreate, we're gonna go to the wrench menu, then select add, and then add text. And I'm gonna do something really simple for this one, such as um, hello. Now um, you can, use whatever font you like, but like I said, I am going to change it to my font, so I'm going to select it by triple tapping it until it turns blue, and then go to the A's to bring up my text menu, and then I'm just going to scroll until I find my font. It's called Outlined AF, and you can play with um, the size and make it bigger. Let's just go for there. And when you're finished, just tap on done. And I'm going to center this in the middle. Okay, so um, the other thing is uh, that with this method, we use like digital papers or digital backgrounds. Again, this is something you can create on your own. Or um, I like to purchase like matching sets of pattern papers, and I'll link, leave the link for that for you as well of where I get those. But I want to um, import some of those papers into my canvas. So there's a couple ways to do it. The way that I like to do it is I tap these three dots at the top and select the middle one to do a split screen. And I'm going to open my files app to where I have my papers saved at. So these are just um, one, I have several sets of these papers. Um, this is just one of them. So I will select the ones that I like. So I have five letters here. So let me just pick out five papers. So um, what I'm gonna do is tap and hold on it and then start to move it over to this side. And when you let go, it's going to drop it into Procreate, but I wanna pick four more while I'm at it. So I have one, two, let's go three, four, five. So now you can see there's a little plus five there. I have my five papers, and now when I let go, that's going to import that into Procreate, and now I can slide this half of the screen shut. Okay, so now we have our five papers. I'm going to turn off all of them except for, I'm going to leave uh, this orange one on for a second so I can show you um, what often happens. So what often happens is um, the way that you get this paper into your text is by a clipping mask. But the problem that most people face is they go and they make this into a clipping mask, which is what you're supposed to do, but they're doing it on... Uh, the outlined layer. So what happens is if you tap this and choose clipping mask, it's just clipping to the outline and it's not filling it in. And that's because there's nothing inside there. Those letters are blank on the inside. So Procreate doesn't know to fill it. So instead what we have to do is we have to fill in those and then put the clipping masks on top of the filled in letters. So to do that, we're going to um, make sure we're on our text layer, tap it and choose reference. And then in a blank layer, we are going to go to our selection tool and let's go to automatic and we're going to go to color fill and let's choose a color. Let's not choose black because I wanna be able to see it um, on the black outline. So I'm just gonna select this light green here. And now whenever I tap in the center of the letters, that is going to turn it that color. And then when we're finished, 
we can, whoops, if you mess up, do a two finger tap to undo and mine's not working. There we go. Let's try that again. Tap in the middle and let's go this way when we're finished. Let's just tap off of it when we're done. So now if we go to our layers, we can see that we have the color filled layers and in a separate layer, the outlines. Whoop, sorry about that. Um, so now if we put one of these clipping masks on top of here, it's going to clip to it. So I'm just going to drag this down and let me turn that layer back on. And now when I select clipping mask, it's going to clip to inside the letters and leave the outline above that. But now you can see um, it's not fully covering the letters. So while it's in clipping mask, you can resize this up or down, however you like. I actually like to size mine down to fit uh, the letters like that. And let's bring another one down and put that beneath in between the clipping mask and the letters and it will automatically turn into a clipping mask and turn that layer on and let's resize that one just try to make it look okay so I show some, I'm going to show some of that orange there. And if it's crossing over into the other one, you can just use your eraser and erase that off. And let's select another one, move that underneath. And again, resize this. Okay, and then you just keep um, moving your layers and resizing them. And so they're all in place on this last one. And that is how I add designs inside of my letters. So here we have our outline and each of these is a clipping mask which is on top of the hello um, colored in letters. So if I turn this off it's going to also turn off all of the clipping masks and if you wanted to you could um, merge all of these into one layer just um, pinching them like that. And now all of our clipping masks are in one layer. Um, you could even merge those two together and have all of those in one layer as well. So that is how I use um, digital papers. You can do the same thing with pattern brushes and I will be back again with a separate tutorial for that. Thanks for watching and let me know if you have questions.